Hello, my beautiful. Yellow bone, red bone, butter pecan, caramel, butterscotch, toffee, mocha, cocoa, chocolate exoticals. Welcome to the Pretty Girl Club. Welcome to the Exoticals United community. If you are new here, welcome. Here in the Exoticals United community, we support men and women from the following people groups. Multiracials, biracials, multigenerationally mixed, and light-skinned golden people. Today we will be answering the question, what color is light-skinned? Has anyone noticed that when it comes to darker skin tones, people accept the fact that there is an entire spectrum of colors? There's cocoa colored, dark chocolate, mocha, coffee colored, but then suddenly when it comes to light skinned people, people want to act like there's just white passing and that's it. Well, today we will be addressing that issue because I noticed that Blackistan likes to make the standard for blackness as broad as possible, and they simultaneously make the standard for mixed race as narrow as possible so they can pretend like we're all the same. They don't want you feeling too good about yourself if you're mixed or light-skinned. They have to make sure to put you in your place by saying that you're not that light-skinned, or some of them will throw you into the brown-skinned category. But when a man comes along and refers to you as light-skinned, suddenly you're both colorists and you only got to where you are because of your skin tone. So anyway, let's talk about the light skin spectrum because there is an entire spectrum in the light skin category just like there is for dark skin people. You have super light, white passing people, and then you have the deeper, more richly melanated light skin people who are still light skinned. Some of us can tan into being darker skinned depending on how much we go in the sun or how much we go on vacation. But I'm not talking about tans. I'm talking about natural skin tones. First off, I want to say that skin tone is subjective and people's opinions can change depending on geographical location or culture. For example, I would be considered dark by white people or in the Latin American community, but I would be considered light in comparison to unambiguous black people. So what color is light skin? Well, there are many different shades of light skinned. There's the white passing skin tone, people like Halsey or Meghan Markle. There's beige. You've got people like Alicia Keys, Swiss Beats. Uh, we have the high yellow category. So I'm thinking of people like Steph Curry, maybe Aisha Curry, Lauren London. Then you have yellow bone or medium yellow. Uh, I would put people like Beyonce or maybe Chris Brown in this category. And then there's red bone. And a lot of red bones can tan to a bright copper color. Some examples, in my opinion, are uh, women like Megan Good or Rihanna or Lori Harvey, Tia and Tamara, Russell Wilson. And then you've got golden, which is a mix of brown and yellow and orange tones. So people like Yara Shahidi, Halle Berry. And then there's light brown or sometimes even called caramel. Uh, I think of people like Will Smith, Jada Pinkett. I think of the entire family, uh, like Willow Smith, Jada Pinkett, Will Smith. I can't remember the son's name, but him too. I think of people even like Tyra Banks. These are people who can tan to a caramely color. Anytime a person is towards the darker end of the light skin spectrum, I notice there's a tendency to gaslight them. A lot of people will try to say, you're not that light skinned or you're brown skinned. I also think of like Chloe and Hallie, and um, I can't remember the guy's name from Grownish. I think he dated one of those sisters. I'll put a picture up of him if I can find him. Uh, these people may have some brown undertones, and those undertones can come out when they stay in the sun more, but these people are still light-skinned, in my opinion. They're just a deeper colored light-skinned person. Let's look at pictures of people in this skin tone range with and without a tan. The reason a lot of caramel people are still thrown into the light skin category is because when they don't have a tan, they go back to their natural color and they tend to turn like a bright reddish beigey color. Some of these terms are used interchangeably. I've been called yellow bone, red bone, and even high yellow depending on my tan level. I've called myself caramel before, but I've been told multiple times that I should stop calling myself that because I'm not caramel. So I'm probably somewhere in the middle of the light skin range. I'm not the lightest person in the world, but I'm also not the darkest light skin person either. And oh my gosh, has anyone noticed how when you're light skinned, you're not allowed to determine your own skin tone? Like if you call yourself a red bone, it's frowned upon. Only other people are allowed to call you that. And only other people get to decide if you're light skinned or not. It's almost like being light skinned is this crown that another person has to bestow upon you. They make it such a big deal in the black community. They love policing who's light skinned and who's not. And has anyone noticed that it's usually darker skinned, unambiguous people who police the term light skinned the most? I have never in my life 
heard of another light-skinned person, police the term light-skinned, unless they're one of those people who has that mindset where it's like, if you're darker than me, then you're not light-skinned. That's a very ignorant Blackistan talking point that I have occasionally heard other light-skinned people use, and I ignore that talking point because the problem is, if you're in Blackistan, they're going to make you think you're way darker and way more black than you actually are. So I did a Google image search on my own skin tone, and the closest person that I could find to my skin tone was Shamar Moore. The second closest person was Chris Brown, who was a little bit more tan than me, and then the third closest was Rihanna, who was also a bit more tan than me. Even I have had people try to make me feel like I am a dark-skinned, unambiguous African person. But those same people want to call Rihanna and Chris Brown light-skinned, who are both more tan than me. This is what happens in Blackistan. People will try to deny your mixed-race heritage, they will try to pretend like you're not really light-skinned, and they're doing that to put you in your place. And this is why I tell people you have to be unapologetic about who you are. If they get to determine what unambiguous blackness is and what dark-skinned is, then we get to determine what mixed race and what light-skinned is. So I don't care if you're white passing or if you have light brown skin. I consider both to still be on the light-skinned spectrum. If people are constantly calling you nicknames like yellow bone or red bone or light bright, you're light-skinned. If people gaslight you and say you're not dark enough to talk about colorism, it's because you're light-skinned. If people call you you light brown. You're still light skin. Hence the term light brown. They didn't say dark brown. They said light brown. And the reason they said it's light is because they know that at the end of the day, you'll still be thrown into that light skin category. That's why they pointed out the difference. If you've never been called brown skinned in your entire life, you're probably light skinned. If men who are the same complexion as you are called light skinned, then you're light skinned. So haven't you guys noticed how when it comes to men, the standards for light-skinned are way more broad and a lot of unambiguous women, they have no problem pointing out if a guy is light-skinned, if he's a little bit darker, they don't mind it. But if you're a woman, if you are darker than Mariah Carey, you better sit your black ass down because you're a dark-skinned, unambiguous black woman. And it's pure gaslighting. It's because they don't want you to feel too good about yourself. They don't want you to uh, be on your high horse. They don't want you to put yourself on a pedestal. But it's pure gaslighting. Okay, so if Rihanna is light-skinned, then I'm light-skinned. If Shamar Moore is light-skinned, then so am I. If you're the same color as women like Beyonce, Terrence Howard, or any of those people I mentioned in this video, you're still light-skinned. You need to be proud of your skin tone. Don't pretend to be darker than what you really are. We've been gaslit so much to the point where we literally have to pretend to be dark-skinned, unambiguous people just to fit in. I'm not doing that crap anymore. We don't pander to anyone over here. We own who we are, and we're proud of our complexions. Speaking of complexion, if your foundation shade is something like golden or butter pecan or beige, you're light-skinned. There are no ifs, ands, or buts about it. If you walk into a room full of black people and you're one of the lightest ones in the room, it's because you're light-skinned. It's very simple, but we've been so shamed to the point where we literally have to pretend to be dark-skinned in order to fit in when you know for a fact that when an unambiguous person looks at you, they can clearly tell the difference. Unambiguous women have made it clear that they want us to get out of their spaces, so that's what we're doing. But in order to do that, we need to embrace who we are and be honest with ourselves first. So to answer the question, what color is light-skinned? Well, the color of light-skinned, in no particular order, is... Beige, tan, high yellow, medium and dark yellow, golden, light brown, red bone, butter pecan, butterscotch, wheat colored skin tones, cashew colored skin tones, caramel, rose gold skin tones, peach colored, honey colored skin tones, peanut butter, those colors are all light skinned. And if you think these colors are the average colors of unambiguous dark skinned black people, you're being intellectually dishonest. Not saying you can't have these skin tones and be monoracial, but the exceptions don't make the rule. Here on this channel, we know what a light-skinned person is, and we accept the fact that light-skinned people come in different shades, too. Some of us are pale, and some of us are more tan, but we are still a part of the light-skinned family. So, what do you think? Has anyone ever tried to gaslight you about your skin tone? Let me know what you think in the comments section, and I'll talk to you next time. Stay pretty, ladies!